This video demonstrates how to properly use a pipette. The people you see in the video are Anna Tyson, Jessica Blair, and Madeline Adams. On a pipette, the measurements are written from 0 to 10 from the top down. In this example, we would write 4 milliliters as our measurement. Rather than measuring how much room the water takes up, we measure how much space it does it take up. Something important to remember is that a meniscus will form when you use glass for the measurement. A meniscus is a concave curve caused by surface tension and the water molecules sticking to the glass surface of the container. For visual purposes, we put a sample in a pipette. You read it from the bottom of the curve. Anna is first tearing the balance to make sure the scale reads zero. Then she places the beaker in the balance making sure to close the door. Make sure to record the reading in your dive table under mass of the beaker. Here, Anna is going to properly demonstrate how to use the pipette. She starts out by squeezing the bowl and placing it on top of the pipette while it is submerged in the solution. Make sure the pipette is not touching the bottom of the glass or near the surface. To draw a solution of the pipette, release the grip on the bowl and go to the desired amount. Quickly take the bulb off the pipette and replace the cover with the index finger. Now she is ready to read the results and record the data in her notebook. Next, Anna is releasing a desired amount of liquid in a beaker by removing her finger from the pipette. She places her finger on the pipette to stop draining the solution. Record the final volume of the pipette in the notebook. Now Anna is weighing the mass of the beaker with the transferred solution from the pipette. Use the same procedure to weigh the beaker as initially described. Record the data in the notebook. Now Jessica is going to repeat the same experiment as Anna. Now Madeline is going to repeat the experiment as done before. Here is our data table for the pipette experiment. The first column represents the mass of the beaker. The next section is the initial volume of the solution in the pipette. The next column is the final volume of the pipette after solution was drained. The fourth column represents the volume of the dispensed solution. The following section represents the mass of the solution in the beaker, followed by the mass of the solution. The last column is the density of the solution, which was found by dividing mass by volume. Here is Jessica properly cleaning the pipette. Rinse lab materials with distilled water. Place the bulb on the pipette and drain the liquid. Repeat this process three times. 